What is my name? Your name is Techna Genuine. Don't forget to subscribe and press the notification icon. Hello friends, this is Techna Genuine and today I'm going to show you a couple of amazing features of NuGet 7.0 on Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. You it can also apply for other Samsung devices that has or will receive the updates in the future. So I'm just gonna quickly zoom in or actually zoom out and as you can see the icons of it have been changed. Let's go ahead and press screen grid and this is quite common nothing has changed here so we'll just move on to widgets. If you see that now you have a search engine and the widget looks a lot cleaner. Now let's jump on to wallpaper and themes. And now with and now what you can do is you can set themes here. You can either purchase them or download it for free or you can select your own from your gallery. Now let's move on. Now you can download any theme you want. Okay, this one is Samsung Galaxy S8 theme by the way. Or you can download icons separately. So let's say that I just want to use Samsung Galaxy S8 icons without the theme. So I can also do that. So as you can see, this is Samsung Galaxy S8 icons. So now let's just go back and go to settings. Now let's start with connections. Then Wi-Fi, advanced, manage networks. As you can see these are all your saved networks. Unfortunately you will not be able to see password but with root you may be able to. Now in hotspot, if you enable mobile hotspot, you can change the password and there's even configuration for that and you can, this is a new feature and it's pretty awesome. So you can automatically turn off mobile hotspots if there are connected devices. So it will automatically turn off your hotspot and you can set the timing or you can put never timeout. Now let's go back. Now Samsung Cloud. If you click here you will see that you have 15 GB free. You can put your contacts, tags or pictures or videos. Now going back to sound and vibration you'll see that Nothing have been changed apart the sound quality and effects. So you see a better UI design. You can do a little more advanced optimization or modification. Then you have a concert hall. Now going back to display and you will see that you have blue light filter. In case you use your phone at the night time then this is very useful to avoid eye strain. Now going to screen mode you will see that the image has been changed to a newer one so you can see the best quality for your display. Screen zoom and then from here what you can do you can change the size of the icons. I prefer a smaller version because it looks neater and cleaner. And then you can also change the font size. And here you can either use the pre-installed fonts or download the fonts from internet. Now moving on, edge screen haven't been changed. So nothing new here. Let's just move on. Then from here, status bar, you can show recent notification or you don't have to and there is also show battery percentage. 
Now wallpapers already showed you this, so we're going to move on to the next step. So advanced features. In advanced features, you have one-handed mode. So if you go here, you will see that there's a new feature. You can swipe diagonally from the bottom corner to the other side of the corner diagonally, and you will see awesome features. So let me just show you a quick sample. As you can see, the screen have been turned into one-handed, so it can be easier for you for those who use your phone in one hand. Or you can put it in a different direction if you want to. Now in order to exit one-handed mode, you have to press the other area. Now let's go back to the settings. What else do you have? So let me just close this because I don't usually use one-handed. You have quick launch camera. So with this, I think this is very common and you probably know it. So let's say you close your device and then you open, double tap to take a picture for example. And speaking of picture, you can see that the UI for camera app have been changed to much cleaner and elegant look. If you swipe to the left, you will see the old the camera mode. And if you swipe to the right, you see the filters of the camera. And if you swipe down, you will see yourself. Or otherwise, you can press this quick icon. There's HDR, flash, then let's go to the camera settings. Nothing new here. So let's just go back to settings. Okay, let's say we went to multi windows and enabled the split screen. Now, if you hold this button, what happens is it allows you to split the screen. So let's press YouTube. So now, what you can do, you can increase the size for YouTube uh, window, otherwise, you can increase the size for settings. You can also swap if you want to. So, simply pressing that icon otherwise you can press this to pop up the window now I want to use settings so I'm gonna press the expand icon now let's go back and see if there's anything interesting so nothing interests me here so let's just go back and see what device maintaining is this might be the most fascinating feature as of yet on Samsung Galaxy S8 and it is, yes, it is pretty new. And let's just move on to battery icon. Here you can check the battery graph. This dot means the projection of your battery life that will last until 0%. Now, what med means, it means the save mode, while max means the ultra save mode, which makes your phone black. Uh, which makes your phone gray light and saves more battery and also you can see the battery estimation now let's uh, go back and see if there's anything new so you go to storage and you can clean it up and you can see the application which are being cleaned now on memory you can either clean it manually or you can just press optimize now there's also an important feature which can help to secure your phone so you can this is a knock so if your phone was rooted before then you cannot use this uh, this feature at all if your phone is rooted and it is official then you can secure your phone and protect your files or folders as well as your applications from your children, your friends, or your own family. Now, what is this three dots? You can keep this device maintenance on your home screen to make this process faster. Now, moving on to apps, we'll see that yeah, you see all of the apps. You can also see the enabled or disabled apps. And from here, there's nothing new so going back 
lock screen and security. And here, let's go to Samsung Pass. I'll, I haven't configured this yet, so let's do it together. So I press start. So I put in my passwords. Now I'm going to press start. Now if I press I read and press next, you can then it will ask you to either configure your fingerprint scanner or if you have already have done so then simply put, place your finger and should register your biometric data. And then you can put all of your cards and whatnot. Now going back and you will find backup and restore. In here you can press backup settings and you will see something very interesting. So here you can backup certain applications or files you want. So you can backup only a phone or you can backup application and whatnot. And it can also backup if you want to do that. But in my case I don't want to but it's your all up to you guys. Now device security already explained this so let's go back. Now, cloud and accounts. I explained this earlier that you get 15 GB for free. You can back up your photos, settings, contacts, messages, etc. Now, going to accessibility, you will find the answering and ending a new feature. Actually, it's not a new feature, but yeah, it's actually a new feature. So, automatic answering. If you receive a call, in two seconds it answers by itself, if you are connected to Bluetooth headphone. Otherwise it won't work. This one using voice commands say answer or reject to answer or reject calls with your voice. This is pretty amazing. Yes it is old, like not a lot of people uses this. So going back, let's go to general management, nothing new here. so go back and then about devices if you press on reset then you will see a new feature you can auto restart your phone automatically and you can set it what time you want now in order to have developer option you have to go to about device and then you have to press software info and tab bill number seven times until you see developer has been enabled. Now you should see developer options. Click on that and make sure it's enabled and then let's move on. So O2 update you can check this or you don't. If you uncheck this then you will save lots of battery life. Now you have USB debugging very common nothing new here so let's just scroll down and see if there's anything new. Nothing new here as well. With Windows Animation Scale, if you turn this off, you get a boost in your phone's performance, as well as saving lots of battery life. Now this one is new, minimum width. If you change this value, let's say to 550, your screen will turn white. and the text will be small as well as the icons, but it looks very clean and it looks elegant in some way. It feels as if we are using Note 5 for example. Now I'm just going to change this value back to 441. You also get debug GPU overdraw, better to not touch that unless you're a developer. And then here we have force allow apps on external. You can make any eligible apps to be written to external storage regardless of manifest value. So I can put it to a USB like this one right here. So this is a dual USB of USB 3.0 and USB 2.0. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more useful videos and do comment below if you want to see something more interesting and whatnot. Peace out.